Hey people, what's going on? Well, yeah, I do have another review on for you today. Except this one is one that I don't have the bottle to show you and, you know, swish around or anything like that because basically I would never buy this, is what I'm about to tell you. And you guys have been wanting me to put on more that I, uh, more fragrances that I don't like. Well, this one is one of them, alright? So, definitely. The fragrance actually is Ralph Lauren's Romance. And with Ralph Lauren's Romance here, I'll run you down the notes. The note lineup actually isn't really that bad at all. So let me get those notes out for you, okay? We do have the top notes at Pistachio Leaves, Iced Lavender, Mandarin Peel. Yeah, not too shabby, you know? We do have middle notes of Fresh Wood, Indian Basil, Wild Tiger Lily, and then base notes of Bristol Cone Pine, Sheer Vetiver Blend, and a Clean Musk, okay? So really, you're thinking it's, you know, it's, hey, this probably won't be, you know, too bad at all. You know what I'm saying? But just the way they put this together was god-awful. I would never get a bottle of this. And really, the best way to describe it, it tries to be kind of that, kind of that woody fresh category except it goes extremely generic and really it smells like when you spray it on I mean at least to me it's really really chemically you know it's real chemical real synthetic you know it can get kind of cloying to you really there's nothing I like about this oh one thing I like that only lasted about uh, two or three hours so I didn't have to have it on very long because I did give it a few chances and really there's nothing I like about it Yep, nothing. Longevity sucks. Um, yeah, overall smells pretty synthetic. I mean, it's. I mean, I guess you can say it's maybe it's an all right. You know, you do get a little bit of lavender in there, but I mean, it just it just doesn't smell like what it's worth. In the least, I wouldn't. If I were given a bottle of this, out of a lot of stuff I do, uh, I use, I would never even use it. You see what I'm saying? I think there are a few other fragrances that um, do this, that do what um, Ralph Lauren Romance does as far as that woody fresh category type thing. Much, much better. Um, so name one is actually um, the Gucci by Gucci Poor Home. You guys, you guys, if you haven't seen my review on that, check that review out. But yeah, I think that does it a ton better too than that. I mean, yeah, at least I love the, I love the dry down on the Gucci, you know? But just uh yeah you guys wanted another one that i didn't really like i wasn't really a fan of i've given ralph lauren's romance a few chances and each time i'm left with the same thing i would never buy this i would never use this it smells cheap some of you might like it i don't like it fragrance is subjective so some people do like some things while other people you know don't like other things but this is one that i don't like at all it's weak it's I just frankly, it smells, smells all right, you know, but nothing out of the ordinary, weak longevity, weak, weak sealage, weak projection. I really don't find any reason to get this at all. As like I said, if you want to look for something that's a little bit more of the fresh woody, I'd probably even, I'd probably go the Gucci route, the Gucci, the new one, the Gucci Pour Home. But there's a few other routes you can go on there. Even if you wanted something fresh woody with even some relaxing tea and I mean you could even go the Bulgari Poor Home Extreme that's one I like a lot but I would if I were you avoid Ralph Lauren's Romance there's also another one called Romance Silver that Romance Silver to me is a little bit better than the original Romance but still not anywhere near a purchase when it comes down to it guys but definitely here's um, another fragrance Tim doesn't like and I know you guys wanted to know a few more of those Ralph Lauren's Romance is one of them also, the romance for women, I've smelled that before, too. I'm not a fan of that. And the thing that, really, that I really don't like about it is Ralph Lauren makes a lot of great stuff. I mean, he makes sharp suits for the price. I mean, he made Polo Double Black, which is phenomenal. I wish I had a bottle of that. It's mango coffee, really unique. It smells really nice, too. Um, even, you know, Polo Modern Reserve, the new one that came out, I think awesome as far as you know like a fresh green smell smells but yeah definitely um you can smell it out yourself i wouldn't buy it never buy this blind i have a feeling you probably won't like it if you have it there's better things you can be wearing i'll tell you that right now but yeah 
that's pretty much the gist of it, people. And, uh, yeah, I did see that, uh, movie that, uh, my buddy Shang, who's one of my subscribers, uh, recommended to me, uh, that perfume story of a murderer. And, guys, this movie is crazy. I mean, I don't know if any of you ever seen the movie Sweeney Todd that came out a little while back, but picture Sweeney Todd with fragrances, so this can get pretty trippy. But, um, oh, a few positives about the movie. I mean, it was an alright movie. Crazy ass ending. I won't tell you the ending. It was crazy though. But, um, yeah, it actually does have, um, so, so a little bit of educational as far as, like, ways to make perfume. Or, you know, parfums. As far as, uh, base notes, you know, top notes, top notes, heart notes, base notes. You know, it goes into stuff like that. So definitely, I mean, I'd recommend it if anybody's interested in fragrances, but just remember this is a crazy movie. Alright? But yeah, hey, check that out. Um, Perfume Story of Murder. Hey, if you haven't checked out the rest of my videos, check them out. Also, always remember to check out fragrance.net, people. Remember, you can get that extra 10% off with that uh, coupon code. I have um, Tim Nye. So yeah, definitely check that out and always rate comment subscribe you guys know what I you know I love it when you do that but yeah definitely I will see you folks later okay all right peace